Inspired by the clarion call of Swami Vivekananda to serve the nation, Swami Prabhananda Ji, popularly known as Ketki Maharaj, started his pioneering philanthropic activities in 1924 among the Khasi tribal people of Shelapunji, 47 kilometers from Cherapunji. He materialized Swamiji's vision of Let New India Arise from groves and forests, hills and mountains by starting basic educational services among the underprivileged, uneducated tribal and poor people of that locality, upholding the greatness of their own culture, customs, ways of life and language. This pioneering venture had far-reaching effects for the whole of Northeast as it initiated the involvement of the mission in the area. Today, the mission runs 77 lower primary, upper primary, secondary and higher secondary schools catering to about 10,000 tribal students located all over Khasi, Jaintia and Garo Hills. It also runs two hostels, one charitable dispensary, two mobile medical units, one knitting, tailoring, weaving school, in addition to various other services like free medical camps, eye camps, health awareness camps by specialists and vocational training programs. All of these made possible by aids and grants from the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, Government of India. Among all this brightness, one day, a dark cloud loomed large and posed to put a spanner in the works and the future of these bright young children of the region. And their right to education and life. Two years back, we received a kind of a bombshell from the Ministry of Tribal Affairs uh, that they are not going to fund the educational uh, services which the Ramakrishna Mission Chirapunji is doing even before independence. The reason they said is that uh, we can't fund uh, the lower primary school or upper primary schools. We'll fund only if the schools are able to cater education up to secondary or higher secondary level. Now 57 lower primary and upper primary schools where some 6,000 children were studying and uh, 250 teachers uh, employed. That means a massive loss to uh, education services in those areas and to those people. So we sat with the ministry and then we worked out a plan that we can start upgrading all our lower primary slowly each year at one by one classes and within Five to seven years, all these schools have to be upgraded to secondary and higher secondary level. And that involves huge funding and the ministry says we don't have any schemes to provide you infrastructure and for that you have to somehow generate that infrastructure. So we have worked with the darwars and now we have acquired land in all those places. Darwars were very cooperative, state government was very cooperative. But now we are looking for funds. So within this short span of five to seven years, we have to raise a huge quantum of around 50 to 60 crore rupees. So that is 57 locations are either integrated or upgraded into secondary and higher secondary schools. Contrary to widespread misperception that the Ramakrishna Mission is possibly the wealthiest NGO and therefore does not need help from people like you and me. Such endeavors and the sudden stop of grants from the government makes them vulnerable today and throws the future of thousands of villagers and children into an unknown darkness. Glen no ki jing ya phe jing mutter sha phrang ba ro u blai un dan ring kan ngin sa jok long u bre u ba hang long u ba slur ha ka kam ya le ban poi sha ka bu ram wa chep ti